Sir Jim Ratcliffe has made no secret of interest to purchase Manchester United through his Ineos Group, which already owns OGC Nice and Lausanne FC. Ratcliffe launched a second bid for the Red Devils on Wednesday, before the Rain Group, overseeing the takeover, extended the deadline to Friday. However, the British business mogul has now been slammed for sports washing by Greenpeace. Greenpeace, an independent global campaigning group focusing on climate change, said, it's worrying that the Man UTD bidding process has turned into a dirty derby between entities linked to fossil fuels. The statement continued. Ineos is a major producer of plastic, toxic pesticides and fossil fuels, as well as one of the UK's leading fracking firms. Having already plastered its brand all over cycling, sailing, football, running and rugby, Ineos is the undisputed champion of sports washing. Whichever way this derby goes, the winner won't be the climate. While in 2020, Sarah Moyes, an expert in plastic pollution, told Vice, Ineos is the largest producer of plastic in the UK. But the average person on the street probably doesn't know who they are, or what they do. They tend to slip under the radar. Over the past decade, Ratcliffe has built a sporting empire, with Ineos branding slapped across the Tour de France, F1, and the New Zealand Rugby Union side. However, United would be the jewel in the crown of Ratcliffe's empire. The 70-year-old has already seen his four pounds. Five billion bid rejected, and his second offer was reported to be around the five billion pounds mark, but even that fell short of the Glazers' six billion pounds asking price. Ratcliffe is one of the front runners to take over the club, but Hell faced tough competition from Qatari Sheikh Jassim, who is eyeing a full takeover.